What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. The last episode was pretty long, and I'm trying to do the same with this episode. From here on out, the episodes are going to be really long, so I'm really excited to see what happens to Arthur Morgan and the gang. It seems like things aren't looking too good. We just lost Kieran in the last episode. Dutch just doesn't seem all there. He hit his head. Um, we had a failed heist. It just ain't looking good, guys. But in the meantime, I mean, we did get to see a robot and we're possibly going to see an electric chair execution, which is kind of weird. But hey, I guess we're going to see that. I'm not that excited about that, by the way. Anyways, before we jump into the actual episode, let's check out the journal and see what Arthur's been thinking about. Let's see those deep thoughts. Oh, this was the Mary thing. We, we remember that. Saw Mary and the awful daddy who has taken to drink, which unsurprisingly ain't improved him a whole lot. Nope. What a foul pig he is. Taking to hawking off family heirlooms and cursing the world for it. Still a stuck up son of a b Now, Mr. Linton has passed away. I wonder what he wants for his daughter. Funny thing is, I love her and yet am a bad lot. Old daddy is a good, upright man, and yet he treats his daughter like a possession to be mistreated and abused as he sees fit. Strange creatures, men. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't know. All I know is that I love her, and she both loves and detests me. It never worked before, and it won't ever work now. Yet it gnaws at me. The idea of it gnaws at me like a sickness. I've got to give up all that nonsense. I'm an outlaw, a murderer. A man with a code, different to ordinary folk. And Mary ain't never going to be for my world. No, she's not. You gotta move on, man. We went to a vaudeville show in town. Dancing from France, quite a business. What is wrong with me? Do I really think I can retire someplace nice and live a normal life with a wife? Am I a big enough dolt to believe that is possible? Yeah, I don't think that's possible anymore. I think it's a little too late, Arthur. Took the shine to the fella in Saint Denis, a professor no less, Andrew something or other. He's built an electric chair as a kind way of killing folk as needs killing. Kind way. Quote unquote. Oh, the irony of it all. Even more ironic. Me so tough and him so weak and I never got paid. Nope, we still haven't gotten paid for that. If I want to get paid for this nonsense, I got to find a bounty. Name of Wilson J. McDaniels. So he can be humanly disposed of at enormous cost to everybody as opposed to shot in the head, like I would do. Still ain't been paid for this. The mayor of Saint Denis, the mansion. My lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball, like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor of Saint Denis. Dutch got us invited by old Senor Bronte, and off we trooped. Trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and primped to within an inch of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor, deciding who to have killed for his fun. The place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars, and clowns, but the thing was kind of fun. Managed to not get into too much trouble and may have some business opportunities on account of inqu inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dressed up like an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Agreed. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. Dutch and Hosea seem to think this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to look into the bank and some other business opportunities. We shall see. As long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them for a while, maybe we shall be okay. I don't have... I don't feel like the bank is a good heist, y'all. I don't. Kieran. That poor got, uh, poor kid we spared from O'Driscoll's gang up in the mountains is dead. Killed by the bastards. He saved my life and I cannot save his. They chopped his head off and tried to kill the lot of us. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. I feel like an animal living out in the mud here. Whole place gives me the creeps. A-R-I-P. Aww. Rest in peace, Kieran. I wish he would have got more development, man. He was a good character. Like, he had so much potential. Met that writer, Evelyn Miller, in the street. He remembered me from the party. Apparently, my petty crime did not go un entirely unnoticed. Better keep my head down a little better. 
He introduced me to a couple of Indians, father and son. Son angry, father with an air of, of what exactly? Of something both impressive and frightening and kind about him. A great man, defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Somehow I've agreed to help them. Seems they like us. I have problems with that gilded ape, Leviticus Cornwall and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. Went to see that odd fellow, Algernon Wasp, I met at the party. Not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. I could not do him justice. Different kind of fellow. But he says he'll pay good money for assorted feathers and eggs and whatnot for his creations for various rich women. Gave me a list of things he wants. I might do those. Seems those of us who thought Angelo Bronte was a lizard in a suit was right, and them as thought he was a gentleman thief eager to help us on our merry way was wrong. Master sent us into a trap in town, told us to rob a trolley station. No money, but the entire police force waiting for us. Dutch nearly died, he did. Lenny fought real hard. The kid is good in a fight and saved us. Dutch is planning some big escape for us all. Some grand master plan. Everything we are attempting here seems troubled. I hope we can get out of here alive. I don't think it's a good idea to do that bank heist. I don't have a good feeling about it. Right now, it don't seem likely. Dutch is raging about Bronte's deception or betrayal or whatever quite it was. Dutch didn't like being made a fool of. Even Micah with all his teasing and needling plays it real cool with Dutch. I would not want to be Bronte right now. I cannot see Dutch letting this pass. Well, he needs to let it pass. Help Mr. Mason take another picture, this time of wild horses, and he gave me a beautiful print of one of the wolves that nearly ate him. Went to see the professor at his lab. He had built a sort of mechanical sun. He seemed to think it was amazing, but we could not get the thing to work properly. I was not half as impressed with him as he was with himself. Now, uh, look at that little doodle of the robot. Love it. All right. And we're all caught up. That is everything that happened in the last episode. Okay, my girl. All right, let's do this. We are going to actually probably set up a camp. I need to clean my weapons, man. I really need to do that. I think we need to go like, we should go to like Emerald Ranch. Cause I think that one place that I want to go to is here. I do believe. So let's go to Emerald Ranch if we can. I'm pretty sure I can fast travel there. I actually haven't tried to use the fast travel yet in this game, so we're gonna try. We're gonna try it out. All right, let's. Uh, isn't it here? Yeah. I gotta clean my guns. There's just a lot of like micromanaging things I need to do. That's fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mind if I warm my bones? Who are you? Whoa! Wait, yeah, this can happen? Free hills. You should be careful where you're camping. I can look after myself. Besides, it's a free country. Free country? <laughs> no. Everything bought and paid for. <laughs> and we gonna protect what's ours. Y'all be careful where you wander. Come on, let's go. I think you got the message. Go kill you next time. Mm -hmm. Looking like a Neanderthal. I gotta make sure they're riding off. I had no idea that could happen. <laughs> But it happened. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So I just got rolled up on. So be careful where you camp in Red Dead Redemption 2. Noted. <laughs> okay, guys. I think I found it. This is where I was before. Oh, there's a bunch of horses over here. Just chilling. Get. Here. Let's get. Hey, it's okay, girl. It's okay. It's all right. Hold, now, easy there. Now, Hold on. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's all right, girl. It's going to be all right. 
Let me feed you. Let me brush you. She doesn't like being here. This isn't a good spot. I don't know what's going on with the animals, but they're not, they're not liking this place. It is spooky. I'm not going to lie. All right. So we need to stay here until 2 a.m. So I'm going to set up a camp and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. I'm going back here. It's not 2 a.m. yet, but I'm going to check this place out. See how it is at night. I don't know. I don't like this at all. It's kind of scary. What? What the heck is going on? What is that green light? Hold on. First person. <gasps> oh my God. It's a freaking UFO. <laughs> it's a UFO. What the heck? Bro. There's no way. I thought it was going to be like a ghost or something. Like something was going to light up in here. There's a freaking UFO above me. What in the world? No wonder why my horse didn't like this. Where's my horse? Okay. Let me. Oh. Oh, it's going away. Why did it just transition like that? I just walked in here and then that glow happened. It's gone now. It's not happening anymore. Dude, I'm spitting. I'm like so excited. What the heck? As soon as I walked out of the house, it wasn't 2 a.m. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. I think it was like 1 or 12 or something like that. I'm pretty sure it wasn't 2. Maybe it was. What in the world? There's no way that just happened. There's no way that was real life. I know this is a video game, but still. Oh my God, that looked amazing. You guys saw that? And ironically, it would start like raining or something. You know, there's a storm just coming out of nowhere. Man, that was actually kind of nuts. All right, we're going to go here and finish up this mission. That was actually insane. Let's talk about that for a second. I remember in, uh, I think it was GTA San Andreas. There was always like rumors of like Bigfoot being in the game and just like little creepy stuff like that. Like every Rockstar game has had like its conspiracies. People, people have said that they've seen things. I didn't think they would ever put something like a UFO in the game. Yeah. <laughs> like for you to be able to find it that easily too. I mean, it's not easy to find, but. I mean, we happened to stumble across it, so it wasn't that hard to find. Man, that was insane. Didn't they put Bigfoot in one of these games? Wasn't it Red Dead 1 yeah, good, that they put Bigfoot in? All right, I think girl. it was in the uh, in the DLC. You had to like kill or you had the choice to kill Bigfoot. I think it was. I never played the, uh, the DLC for Red Dead Redemption 1. I heard it was amazing. I heard it was like probably like the best thing ever but i just remember that being said by a lot of people what's going on out here what's this guy doing that was absolutely insane oh hey there why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire oh by the fire who the heck is this guy Hello there. I have a drink with him, I guess. Why not? Mm. <laughs> Bone dry. Let's 
sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. I have some whiskey here. I have plenty of whiskey. I don't drink it. Here you go. Here. Tell me a story. Hmm. hmm. Only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. <laughs> oh, man. This guy just chugged whiskey. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. Okay. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. And I know the feeling. Oh. I was a, a, a young man then, but I still see them faces as clear as yesterday. I do. Man, I swear it's not even human. Like, that's just disgusting, man. Well, that's hard, partner. I might risk the last minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Ah, oh. Okay, then. Well, you have a good one, sir. I feel bad. I actually, I don't feel bad for that guy. Should I loot him? I feel like that wouldn't be right. I kind of want to. He did something nasty. Native American ring? Yeah, I'm taking my... I don't care. I don't care if I lost honor. I'm taking my people's ring back. Thank you, sir. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not going to kill the guy, though. That would be a little bit too much, but... Hey. I'll take the ring. Yeah. Let's see if we can finish this Jim Calloway mission. There's a couple places I need to return to. I wanted to go back to the Braithwaite Manor. I heard there was something there that might be interesting for me to look at. There's also another spot that my friend was telling me to go to. He wasn't specific on what happens there because he didn't want to spoil it, but he said that I'm definitely going to get... He said, knowing, knowing what I like, he said that you're going to get excited. He said it's very intriguing. So I'm excited to see what that is. We're back in Valentine. What was the last time we were in Valentine, guys? I guess nostalgic coming here. Are we going to move the train today or tomorrow? I have unopened mail parcels. I should go check those out. I have to go inside, right? I'll be right over. Uh, let me receive my mail. What? 
the mayor. No way. <laughs> Monsieur Kilgore. It was lovely to make your acquaintance at the residence the other night. You meet so many people at these kinds of functions. It is hard to keep track. I did notice, however, that you were near my study when poor Pierre had an accident and some documents simply disappeared. Now, I have spent far too long in politics to make my accusations wildly, but just long enough to know when I am owed a small favor. Perhaps your gung-ho frontier spirit and my cold old world cynicism could work quite well together. Indulge me in a meeting at least. Come to the back of the mayoral residence any night you wish. Knock on the door and my assistant, John Mark, will let you in. I hope to see you soon, your newest friend. Uh, good old Henry. I guess we'll make some time to go there eventually. Idiot. Need a ride, mister? I'm good. I don't need a ride. I do need to go over here, though. How you doing? The hell is wrong? Whoa! Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. We don't need to be galloping everywhere. Look out! Thank you, sir. She is a fine horse indeed. Just get out of my way. Move. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Calloway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis on a riverboat? Uh -huh. Okay then. Oh man. I wouldn't drink here, That's far away. Mister. Sazerac. <clears throat> Mister. New Hanover Gazette. There's a mission over here in the saloon or in the general store. I think the general store. <laughs> no, brother Brodus, you're my friend. You there. Hello. Who are these guys? Yeah, what do you want? Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do because I look like that milk sop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. See? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy? Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. <laughs> okay, then. <sighs> Oh, well, wow. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. I'm definitely using Deadeye for this. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> what was it? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, what? No. Please. This creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. This is such a country boy thing to do. Let me tell you. Put us out of our misery. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. What? Keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. No. <laughs> fully formed from the swamps, Helen. Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. I'm ready. 
Oh, oh and it's Good tipping. Night, My bottle and his brains, if you please. At least I have brains. Okay, stop moving. This guy has better balance on the right. Now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersault. Oh my God! Me. Somersaults. Oh my God, let me shoot him huh? for all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue. I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Mm, thank you. I love yeah, money. Brother. I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. Quite too much. Nope, my sweet. All right, then. Yeah, we just saw that. Good old country boys. All right, we're going to take a bath since we're here. Why not? Don't start no more crap around here. Bro. Sorry, you must be talking about someone else. Yeah. Morning. Morning to you. Hey, friend. Good morning. Just passing through, don't want no problem. Welcome, welcome. Uh -huh. Come on in. Yeah, I'm just being honest. Can I get a hot bath, please. I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Let's get a high. Uh, dude, we haven't had a bath in so long. <laughs> I couldn't even begin to tell you when that was. So we need a bath. Arthur stinks, bro. Rub a dub dub. Hey, at least Arthur uses a washcloth. We got these people on TikTok and stuff Did talking about any assistance. What's a washcloth? Yeah, okay. Sure. You can just leave it to me now. Okay. I'll be out of your hair in no time. We'll just do the small talk. You know how it is. She might actually have something interesting to say Hope to hear. Hope the water's hot enough. Uh, we don't like strangers much in this town. And that sure doesn't surprise me about this place. So, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I was nearly married once. She never bathed me. Well. Oh my god. That is crazy to say. So you must have a feller. Oh, are we that close to friends now? <laughs> Probably not the best question to ask. Oh, you're very professional. You are making me blush, you. I'm just trying to get clean, girl. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make small talk to make this interesting because it's already an awkward situation. Okay, we're done. Right, I think that should do it. Okay, we kissing foreheads and stuff too? Nice okay. Getting to know you. Did did she really get to know me? Did we get to know her? I couldn't tell you. Feel so sorry for the girls around here. Why? Motion from the rooms all the time, and it just ain't friendly. Oh yeah, that is pretty bad. Arthur actually looks like a human being now. Move! Hey, Mister. Who the hell are you? Hey, fellers. Howdy, friend. Morning, partner. Oh, morning, morning. Morning. Well, my hey there, mister. Like about time we went on a tear. My horse needs a good scrub. Can I have a horse? Uh-oh. Nope. Oh, Driscoll's. We gotta go. Not trying to stick around for that. Uh... 
Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go back to Saint Denis, which is all the way down here. Who is this? Albert? Albert Mason's back. Oh, we can do the thing with Professor. Oh, Charles. We got yeah, we got to see Charles. Okay, there's a couple of things we need to do then. Cool. I think I'm just gonna fast travel there. Since the stagecoach isn't here. Oh wait. Wait, uh, take a ride, yeah. Real uh, yeah, take me to Saint Denis. Normally, I'm not a big Whoa! fast traveler, but I feel like, you know, we've done the journey from Saint Denis up here and Saint Denis and up here, like back and forth a lot. Uh, well, you know, I just kind of want to get back into the game. You help me out. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Will you Come on, girl. All right, let's do the Charles Chatney one because I think that's right around the. Actually, we should do the professor one. I think that one's time sensitive. Don't hold me to that. I'm not sure. Dude sounded like he was going through it. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah, it's about to happen, guys. Uh oh. Let's see how this plays out. Not humane, sir. His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Kill him already. Oh, wait. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. What the heck is she? What is she on about? This ain't happening. Oh my God! They both died. Damn it! <gasps> oh! Oh! Is he dead? Dead? Yeah. Okay then. I'm just gonna leave. I mean, he never gave me my money. I kind of want that. A blueprint. Oh, wow. I could do without that. I'm losing honor, guys. <laughs> I'm just losing honor left and right. Why are you acting like Madam? Sir. Oh my god, he's like yelling at people. Madam! <laughs> there, mister. That's not very friendly there, Arthur. 
All right, let's go in here. Oh, an art gallery. Yay. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just uh -oh. wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on. Let me compose myself. Yeah, I don't blame that guy. I'd be a little sus too if she's like nude in front of an artist all day. Madam? I think that it's Greek. <laughs> okay then. Or could be Roman. Roman? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Look at these. All right. Scandalous. Far too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. Holy a crap. Brush. I find the <laughs> brushwork baffling. It's not good. Trying to represent aside from a filthy mess. <laughs> it's up. You know. I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, let's just say I can't say not in mixed company. What? What does she mean by that? Oh my God, look at that guy. The cheeks are out. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> <laughs> Buddha said that? Of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't have Arthur? exposed herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, oh. Mildred. This is no place for us. Come We're here. fighting? Bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> come on, horse. we are leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. I mean, that's a good looking mama. I'm not going to lie. Oh, oh, hold on. Oh, oh, lay down. What about this guy here? Come here. Why are y'all fighting? Come on. I right, put him out. Yep. Nope. Oh, the one hitter quitters. Wild. What are you doing? Is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. Okay, then. Who is this lady? This way, this way. Come on. You caused all this mess. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. Huh? It was eventful. It was not. Archdest people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. We saw a whole now, lot of go be an ass in that gallery. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Imagine. Perhaps. 
Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> That man is diabolical, let me tell you. <laughs> what a character. Okay. Well, we did we did all that, guys. Um How do you do, sir? How are you getting dirty so quick, girl? Hey. I have to clean you more than my guns. All right. Speaking of that, I'm good, I suppose. go ahead and clean these. This place, I love this double action revolver. It's my pride and joy. That music's hidden. Um, I know some of my rifles are getting dirty. Look at my shotgun. My shotgun's not looking too good. Okay, we're all right. We should be good for now. Hey there, girl. All right, let's go to the next mission. It should be... Oh, right here. Mr. Calloway. And we can do the Dutch mission. Excuse me. Out of the damn way. What the hell's with you? Nothing's wrong. I'm good. You all right there? This is the famous Grand Corps. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come hey, back here. I'm looking for boy Calloway and a man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Well, that's the only way I want to oh, catch him. My friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh... <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we, said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. That's a goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass snake? Uh, grass you know, snake? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... Get, I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me! What a way with words. Uh, damn you, see it on heaven! <laughs> You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already <laughs> damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... If them says I didn't, I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, the Gawain, the Caesar. It can't happen to me. 
I will kill both of you. Yeah, calm down. Whoa. I'm a legend. Yes, you are. <laughs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Eh? Uh, maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here. No, 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 <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. <laughs> Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Well, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. <laughs> yeah, Arthur does have a way with words, huh? Sometimes. Hey there, sir. Not so well. Okay, so where is he at? Oh, he's all the way up here. There's so much of the map that I haven't really even seen yet, to be honest. You know, a lot of stuff I'll do on my free time, as in like. I'm not trying to do everything in my first playthrough. You need to open your eyes. It's just not possible with like being a content creator, putting everything in videos and such. Like, obviously there's probably some content creators out there that are trying to do that, but I'll be honest with you guys. I want to do a second playthrough of this game where I play it by myself. You know what I mean? And just really dive into the game. Get some good food, crack a beer, and play some Red Dead Redemption 2. All cozy on my big screen TV back there. Oh man, this game would be lovely to play on a huge TV. I definitely want to do a second playthrough, like probably like right after I finish this one. I guess I could give him some money. Do you have anything to spare for a blind man? Clear the way. And then that one, I will definitely do like all the hunting and getting all the bags oh, and getting all of you, like sir. the side stuff. Uh, Just truly, really dive into you. it. It means a lot to me. Mister. Oh, good day to you. Do you have anything you can Might as well get some honor up right while I'm here. I'm going to hang out with Albert Mason here and then we'll do the Dutch mission. But yeah, the second playthrough is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to like just play the game myself and see everything. Put hundreds of hours into the game. And in that playthrough, I'll be able to just like take really big gaps of the story. You know what I mean? Because like when you're when you're trying to play the main story like on the first playthrough you don't want to like take too long a gaps because you'll start you'll tend to like forget things what's happening in the main story and stuff and that would that would just be really annoying and just kind of like take me out of the the whole narrative of the game easy this area looks cool They creep up on you, you know. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Morgan. How are you? Well, sir. What are you working on? Do you know anything about alligators? Only the basics. Kinda. Avoid them wherever possible. <laughs> well, did you know that in the last 50 years, we've killed 90%? You say that like it makes you sad. They're beautiful creatures. <laughs> they are beautiful. Let's see how you speak when one of them's got you in a death row. Yes, I will make some creature a very happy lunch one of these days. Let's try and avoid that from happening today, hmm? I mean, you stay there, you'll get a great shot, then you'll get eaten. <sighs> what a way to go. <laughs> Why don't we take this boat out, and I'll protect you. Come on, get in the boat, he'll be fine. Well, if you really think that's necessary. You carry on shooting from that bank, 
You're gonna wish them wolves had eaten you. Really? Yes. This guy is not smart at all. They're the nasty ones. All right then. Um. Oh, I saw a movement to the north of us. Oh, into the west. Oh, into the northwest. There. That's probably where we should look. Let's go look then. When we find one, line me up so I can get the shot. I'll try. Don't get too close. You'll scare them away. Close, but not too close. Got it. <laughs> right. Right. There, in the cane rake. That's a likely spot for one. Take us around the island until we see something. Okay. Last year, they brought 10,000 skins out of the swamps of Lemoyne alone. There, in the channel. You see its head? Poking up there. Line us up to it. Swing us around so we're pointing at him. Now, rotate. Rotate. I kind of can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Can on. Can get the angle right? Hold on, sir. Hold on. Closer now. Closer. How close? Beast in repose. All as calm as the predator lurks. All right, now. Oh, I guess we can go straight. Northwest and northeast of here. You know, in the season, there are more alligator hunters down here than than alligators. Maybe you can take a photograph of one of them then. Very droll. There was even a tour company that let excursionists shoot from the deck of a paddle steamer, chugged up the waterways and churned whole bayous into mud. Thankfully, the state legislator put a stop. A paddle steamer, huh? Now, why didn't we think of that? I make it across? Nah. I tried. We're gonna have to go all the way around. Seventeen feet, nineteen feet, twenty-one feet with a five-foot head. What? They found some big bulls in these parts. Surely they did. There's twenty-foot gators here, and us two idiots are sitting in a twelve-foot skiff. <laughs> this is in the seventies, eighties. All the really big gators have been hunted out and killed. More the shame, I say. It's terrible. It ain't shame to this rowing fool who values his arms being attached to his. Oh look! Right. Oh, that little beach. Boars. If we're in luck, an alligator won't be far away. Saving alligators, but you don't mind that pork chop getting butchered. <laughs> pork chop isn't in danger of extinction. I wonder if pork chop's gonna get dragged into the water there. It's got it. Quick, quick. I must get this shot. Quick, you got it? In the middle of his dinner. Oh my He's god. Making, truly, nature. And all its Jeez. Glory and cruelty. Could have been you if you stayed on that bank where I found you. Don't. Last spot was on the west of here. It is nice to use a boat, though. It's kind of refreshing. You're always using horses and stuff. I think they're going to have swamps like this in uh, GTA 6. Sure. We stop too long. Locals are gonna start getting curious. Just, just there, please. So, so I'm facing the landmass. Right. Now look, there's an alligator back in those palms. Could you, could you run in there and coax him out? Coax him? What? Please. He's quite something. Oh my it's God. Most likeness. It might, it might just save him from the taxidermist. Fine. Yeah, sure. Maybe I want this monster stuffed and on display. Huh. That's the spirit. Out you go, then. Get him in the. Get him to notice you, and then turn tail and run. If I'm eating, I hope he eats you. Oh, he's awake. Uh oh. Jump in the boat. Oh, get in there. Ah! Got him. What? 
a specimen. You yeah, idiot. You got him eating me. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. I really don't. We can congratulate I don't either. ourselves on a job well done, Mr. Morgan. Take us back where we began. Anyway, I hope you got something worth printing. Oh, assuredly. The nation will see these beautiful beasts for what they are. Killing machines? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Maybe that's not a bad thing. This is America, after all. We hold a love for killers that borders on macabre. Loving wow. killers is part of our makeup. Maybe. Maybe. But usually we wait until after they're dead. Well, I hope we've changed. Me too. So about that. This is so beautiful. I wonder if this is the area that my friend was talking about because he said it was by a swamp. He said it was like a swamp like area. I'm gonna have to double check. He sent me a screenshot on his map. Just pull up to the bank. That should do us. Yes. These pictures you're taking. Yes. They're gonna be any good. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Though I doubt it. The subject is magnificent, the backdrop jaw-dropping, but the agent of beauty is a talentless fool. Although maybe I'll strike a few lucky shots. You sure do make me laugh that way you talk about yourself, Mr. Mason. Mm. Well, I'm good for laughing at, if nothing else. I didn't mean it like that. I know. Still, I feel such a fool around you, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh. Have I a good one. I saw many an ignominious future for myself, but... Never damsel in distress. Well, uh, good <laughs> luck, Mr. Mason. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Try and stay out of trouble. I shall certainly try. Oh, the mosquitoes, man. I don't want to hear those. They're so gross. Hopefully there's no alligator over here. My horse is probably s scared of one. Okay, then, girl. All right, then. Yep. Let me check and see if this is the spot that I need to be at. All right, everyone. So it's nighttime. Yep. And I think we're at the spot that my friend told me to be at. This area is right here, like in the marsh, like here. Oh, there's bounties looking for me. Oh, crap. Hopefully they don't find me. I don't see anything thus far, though. Although, what is that? Is that a bird? That bird's pretty. They're out there looking for me. They're rolling deep, too. That's a lot of bounty hunters. We should hide. Oh, my God. Hopefully they don't find me. What the heck? Somebody's crying out here. Hello? Whoa. Hello? Hello? Where are you? You hurt? What the heck? Whoa! Oh! Ah! Oh my god, that thing came out of nowhere. Holy crap. I'm just going to go around it. This is why you don't walk around the swamp at night. What's wrong? Man, you all right? I don't like this at all, y'all. I don't like this one bit. Man? 
You okay, ma'am? Talk to me. Huh? Uh, yeah! oh, oh, what the? Oh my god! What the? Oh, oh my god! Bro! They popped out like the hills have eyes or something! Who in the world? Is this what my friend told me to find? Because that was spooky. That was really scary. What the heck? They have all this face paint and stuff. Who are these people? It's like a cult just living out here. Bat carcass. Ew. Nah, man, that's not cool. I don't. I didn't like that one bit. Okay there. What the heck? I just stumbled upon this side quest out here. Who is this guy? What's the commotion? You a loon or something? This night folk country. Night folk. I've seen them. I know what you're talking oh, about. Okay. Maybe you should clear out though if you're so troubled the things of the night. It's night folk. And I would, it's just they on my property. Hey, w would you help me uh, get them off? Well, I, I I pay you for your troubles. Yeah, sure. You pay me, huh? Maybe. Well, show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Hey, it's just over there. It's just Good over there? Right <laughs> You're not leading me to my death, are you, stranger? The night folk could put me on a pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals. A lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine. Not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm, mm. They be what crying kind of though. People don't make no sound. It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part. But I still speak. You know, well, I talk to myself. Ain't no one else around. You I don't like where we're going. Off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit though. Got that to be thankful for at least. Gator bites is nasty. Mm-hmm. Then turtle bites is bad too. They call them snapping for a reason. Yeah, well, I've been known to snap too. So, how about we keep it down? Ooh, yes, partner. Yep. Uh-huh. That's probably best. Where are we going, sir? That's my question. Oh, there's bats. I think they like bats. Damn bats. I think they like bats, sir. Don't you worry about no bats. I tell you when you got to worry, all right. I don't think Batman's out here. And if he is, it's not the Batman in Gotham. I think we should turn around. Oh my god, this looks so ominous. Where's your property, sir? Can you just show us so we can get out of here? What happened? Why aren't you moving? Keep moving. I'm behind you. Oh, the music is not good here. It is not happy music. Oh, hell. Oh. Look at that. He fresh. Okay. You see what I mean? This night folk work. Okay. I see what you... Oh. I knew this fella. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. No, he didn't. Now, come on. Sir. 
I'm starting to question this whole scenario. <gasps> More damn bats. This is some opening of Scooby Doo stuff, bro. Come on. Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor fella on the tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead fella on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. That's definitely a good point. Lamps out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. Now, look out here. There's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm with this guy. There's a gator right there. What are they going to? Is that a body? Yeah, it is. This is a bounty hunter from earlier. Yeah, what are you doing? Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go deal with them. I'll be here with my rack. You just walk right past okay. that gate. Do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, too late for him. That's bad juju, all right. Okay. So what are we going to do about it? I'm taking this guy out. They called me Legolas in my other life, you know? I'm saying. What I tell you? Legolas. <laughs> Got him. Where's my reward at? In here? Well, boy, that's got to be more of them. What? Boy here. I'll see. Oh, this isn't looking too good. They got... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. More. Oh, yo, Arthur said the same thing I said. <laughs> He said, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus. It's a bad oh, be that it? They got machetes? Okay. They're dead. I'll definitely take that. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> There's no way a gator just ate me. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I ain't never been so scared. I didn't know Red Dead Redemption 2 was a jump scare game, bro. This is a horror game. This is terrible. Okay, is there another gator around here? Okay, they're dead. Well, well. Okay. I got something for you now. Give me my right, prize. Go. Give me a moment. Want it? Yeah. Don't be weird you about it. Partner? What the heck is what that? Is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. Night folk won't come here anymore. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. Well. So long now. You have a good one, sir. A gold tooth? Well, thank you, I guess. They, 
had arrows, I guess. All right, we're out. I don't think I found what my friend was talking about. I don't know if it was the night people or if it was something else. I don't know. All right, I'm back. Arthur, you dumbass. <laughs> Whoa, easy. The cat dragged in Arthur. Arthur Morgan. What's going on, everyone? How's the camp looking? We're going to do this mission with Dutch. Let me go over here and talk to Pearson first. Got some stuff to give him. Oh my God. I don't ever want to go back to the swamp after that, man. Haven't received that was scary. A while, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Many I'll give you this. I want the bird stuff though. I'm gonna keep that because that can be used for crafting. Well done, Mr. Morgan. And I think that's it. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Arthur, come up here. I'm coming, Dutch. Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. Oh, man, no. Let's not do this. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I don't know. I kind of agree with Hosea. And usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Le Gras? Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we oh, no. the station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay. Makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Do you? I don't know about that one. I don't think he's all there. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. Maybe Jose is just it. thinking rationally. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. 
What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. Yes. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Oh, man. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, yeah, sure. That ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything. Is wearing me down. The others. That's I fair. Take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. I hope that's a promise you can keep. Let me do the talking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend, can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? It shouldn't take too long if we can find him. The way Dutch said good, that was smooth. I don't know. The voice actor was on point with that. <laughs> be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. 
You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Understandable. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. I like me some crayfish. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? Uh, there's something in the water over there. Just saying. I hope it's just fish. Nothing. Bone dry. Empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk, I know. Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Yeah, I've already had an encounter with them and the gators. I've had a good time here, Dutch, let me tell you. Whoa. Stop where you are. That's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Oh, man. And we're in their territory, too. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Look at the freaking gators out there looking at us, guys. Oh, that's not good. Oh, man. I'm not having fun with this one. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. Why do you do this at night? By yourself. Ooh. Well, they took a bite out of that one. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God! So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you. Okay. Back, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Where is let's go? Like, where are we going? Out there? You see all that water? Oh. That's a lot of gators. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. I heard alligator's not too bad, though. I heard it's actually pretty tasty. I haven't tried it myself, but I would. I've just never been to a restaurant that had it. Arthur, go search the other side. Huh? Ain't no point in us all searching the same area. Aw, oh, man. 
all the way out here. Ain't no way. I would not do this in real life. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. There'd be no way. I hear somebody talking. Is that him in Dutch? What? What does that what mean? Not so loud, Arthur. <gasps> I feel like I heard something. No. What's he doing up there? Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. What? You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. Oh, there. No. Nope. Must be Jews. Yes. No. Nope. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. A cannon? Oh yeah. I got the scare. I thought the dinosaurs Over were extinct. <laughs> Stuck. Oh, that scared me. I got it loose. Go. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. We need to talk about this gator, though. Who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. <laughs> now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, no, Jules! You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. No, you won't. You see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Is it? Pull! Get back to the boat. Ah! Jules? Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Arthur? Hurry, Arthur. No, I won't. Oh, my God. Ain't no way. Oh, 
Oh my God, I got my gun. I might need two of them. I got my good gun. What the? Oh, uh, where'd he go? Uh, oh, there he is. I'm trying. I get you, Sim. I got you. Oh God, no. Oh man, I see blood in the water. Shoot something. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's a oh. 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 oh God, no. Please hurry. Fire what do you mean? A warning shots just oh. to pretend you can. Oh, I got you covered. No. Please hurry. No, so you ain't doing nothing. You're just making it mad. It's mad. I'm trying. I can't. Oh, I'm dying. I'm trying my best. Put him here. Come on. Arthur, stay, stay alive, stay alive. Don't stop. Come on, come on, quickly, quickly. This leg hurts pretty bad. He should be okay. Oh, at least he still got his leg though. That's good. What the? Holy crap, that thing is huge. That's a behemoth. It's still moving? There's no way. Hold on. <laughs> Let me pop. some of this yeah I see that die it's still coming what the heck what no I think he's going Shit, that is one big old oh. game. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. Is he? Be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. What is this mission? There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Oh yeah, he's out, he's out from the shock. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God. There's no freaking way. Jeez, I'm coming with two. Dutch. Dutch. He's under the water. Coming right for us. Gone. Okay. I think it's had enough. Now, Jesus. Can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. Right. This poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. 
Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. Can we talk? Well. Can we talk about how homie was just like, dang, you got your leg bit. I guess them stories was true. Oh, well, like. <laughs> sorry about the luck, you know. Nothing we can do about it. I mean, Jesus, that that gator, if we can ever find it in the future, that would be absolutely crazy. What the heck was that? What? Somebody's out here? Hello? Hello? Oh, there's a gator right there. I heard somebody talking. <gasps> Hello? Oh my God, my hairs on my arm, they're like sticking up right now. Who is that? It said the white dot was over here. Hello? Oh! Gator, 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 gator. Hello? I swear I heard someone. Bro, there's no way, bro. Bro, there's no way. There's no way, bro. Oh my God. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Bro, there was a woman out here, bro. I heard her. I saw her on the map. She popped up like there was a white. I heard a woman's voice. She said, come back to me. What? There's no way. There's no way that's a coincidence, bro. I heard her. I'm out. Mm -mm, no. Oh my God. That was terrifying. I don't know what I experienced last night. I don't want to experience it again. I am good. I'm, I'm going to leave that to y'all. So, Dutch, what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on. Thomas, they got these guys so going. Right you are. hooked on this Tahiti plan. I'm so done with it. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, no, I Let them know. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. 
What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery. savagery Thank you. Of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, like leaving love aside, <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside. Arthur's Arthur. coughing a lot. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you with me. Arthur, John. You take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Oh, oh, I'm already here, John. Let's go. Oh, they have guards. I'm always with John. Some cover. Two up ahead. Have you got a shot? I mean, I guess so. Hold on. It's creepy about these statues. <laughs> you taking them or me? Pouring wine on you? It's like someone's looking at you when they're not. I'd get rid of them. Bring All right. In your Fine. Room. You take them. <laughs> Got him. We're coming for you, Bronte. Send out every man you got. This is a big brain plan, let me tell you. Okay. I was born ready for this. Reload. Oh, we got them all. Shoot that lock, Arthur. Oh, the shotgun. Now kick that damn door in. Wait, well, no, 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 don't do that. Why are you, why are you doing that? Quick, before we lose Bronte. Oh, there. I just had to move. Hey. We there you go. Ah! Jeez. What if he's not in here? What if he knew we were coming? Get out here. Fight like a man. Did that guy just run right past us? What the heck? I don't know how I missed those shots. Let's uh use the revolver here. Alright, let's spread out. He's hiding somewhere. We got one on the stairs. Have a look. Keep that door covered. Bronte must be up there. Let's go. It's nice to see Lenny here. Let me tell you. You got me covered, John? God damn it. Okay, let's check every room. 
Oh my God. Did you guys see that? That is a gunshot. Let me tell you. Move, John, move. No. Nobody in here. Oh, that's you, John. You almost died. I'm telling you. God. Oh, I know that hurt. I'm sorry, friend. I, I, no, name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. Ooh. I ain't a Mauser him. pistol. Shit. Hold on. Let me read about this real quick. Yeah, I was like, this is a German gun. A new import from Germany. The Mauser is a modern semi-automatic pistol with low, low damage. The rapid fire rate of this weapon, along with the large ammo capacity, makes this a good choice for close range combat or when surrounded by multiple enemies. This gun has an ammo capacity of 10 rounds. It can use regular high velocity split point express and explosive pistol ammo. Ooh, that's a really cool gun to have. Let's go, Arthur. This is a vintage gun. Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Oh, no. That's the lawman. Oh, we need to go downstairs. Come on, Morgan. We're getting the hell out of here. Whoa. They're not going to be able to take us alive. Call yourself police. Run, take goddamn puppets. We're taking a lot of you down. That was nice. Ouch. You're just gonna run Where is this guy? Oh there he is. We got what we came for. You ain't police. You're a bunch of goddamn errand boys. Get to the boat. Oof. Quick, get our new friend on that boat before any more show up. Put him in the front. Bill, you help. Oh, you got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. That loyalty, though. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth, 
has got to be disposed of! Your friends, the Pinkertons, are gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot! Call them now! You call them! I think Dutch has lost it. Everybody's looking at him like, what the heck? No. Don't do that. Don't. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Wow. What a quote. Sheesh. Okay, then. Arthur and John don't seem like they're on board with that. I don't think I'm on board with that. That was a bit much. Like, it makes you think, like, what are we truly fighting for here? Is it for our own well-being? Or is it for Dutch to... Feel high and mighty? I don't know. Always good to see. Morning. It's kind of quiet around camp. Mrs. Adler. Susan. I'm telling you, Dutch, good this day. is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you Not the dang bank heist. Good morning. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. Guess uh, he was always living on borrowed time. He was. Maybe. Which is sad, to be honest. Nervous? I suppose. I suppose that's it. Well, you need to go with your gut feeling, then, Dutch. Maybe it's not a good idea. Well, not certain it will be done, but certain it can be done. I'm certain this is the only You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh Driscoll's Pinkertons? Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. All right, I feel like the morale around here is kind of low. Let's see what's, let's see what Dutch is doing. Oh, he's downstairs. I passed him. Oops. What's Karen doing? You all right? Yeah, that was quite a mess to clean up. Yeah, in every sense. Jim? Look, the bank, Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the Diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying, it's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the dram of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute properly. Even Maybe. Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. 
Everyone gets some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. I don't like this idea. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's <laughs> get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! <laughs> Come on, Hosea, get moving. We ain't got all day. This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. Blackwater, huh? to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina and another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just going to leave that behind? <laughs> Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. <laughs> We're going to take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hit town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it. Yep. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. You'll know by the noise. Any problems? Is he in camp? Good luck, gentlemen. Right on! Yeah! Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! Uh, one more time. Let's one ride. more time. Yeah. That's what they've been saying. Hey, make sure I'm locked and loaded here. Does it, fellas? Act normal. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Gentlemen, robbing thieves, it ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole what this country could have been. Stay Is that an M1 Garen? Act natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. Hmm. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Whoa! <laughs> I love that Hosea. He is a true artist. That's crazy. <coughs> what about my horse if we leave? Am I not going to have my horse? Gentlemen, 
Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hold up! Don't do nothing stupid! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Oh, I love that mask right there. That's cool. Okay, now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault? Hurry up. Open the vault! Come on! Stick to the plan, Arthur. All right. Oh, I'm at to crack these safes again, huh? Need the combination for these safes. Got it. Okay, now what's the second number? Seventy-two. Would you look at that? He said seventy-two. Seventy-two. All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Okay. There it is. Well, well, well. <laughs> what did I tell you? I swear Dutch called me Arthur earlier. And Bill said Mr. M. Get out of here. We got trouble. Looks like the law. Shit. Come on. Let's go. Okay. That's all we're getting? I think we got a problem out here. Come out. It's over! Shit! Abigail! <gasps> Get out here! Oh Get no! Out here now! Someone must have squealed! Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! They have Hosea! <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton! It's over! No more bargains! No more deals! Mr. Milton! This is America! You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Oh, <gasps> no. He's not going to kill Hosea. Don't do it. Dutch, come on. <gasps> no. no. Oh, God damn it. There's your deal, Dutch. Dutch, what the fuck? There's no way. I said this was a bad idea. Kill that asshole. This has already gone wrong. This, this, no, this can't happen. Hosea? Like Jose is gone. We lost Kieran, Sean, Hosea. Just about get over here. What the heck do you want me to do now? There's no way that we're getting out that door. Okay. And blow a hole through that wall. Okay. I guess that's pretty smart. Talk about this now. We're getting killed here. 
Let's get up to the roof and call their fire. We'll follow you up there. I don't think it could have been Hosea, because I don't think he would do that if he knew he was gonna die. It's gotta be somebody. God. Okay. You're gonna move. Move now. I'm up here. Oop, there's a uh, guys up here. We lost control of the bank. The others are trying to hold them off. Okay. God. It's a horrible idea. And Hosea, he thought it was going to be perfect. Dutch even said he was nervous about this. This is terrible. You got to go with your gut, Dutch. Oh, of course Mike is still alive. Lost John. Killed? What? I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. John got arrested? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. So if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. Oh my god. Me and Lenny, we got this. Come on, Lenny. Let's go. At least we still got Lenny. We can get across here. Wait, 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 Lenny! Oh! He's dead. No. Oh God, no. God. There's nothing we can do. We got to keep moving. That's this plan was stupid. It was legit dumb. I want that bastard dead. We just lost Lenny. I don't see them. We're gonna that was Arthur's. Arthur's. Go. Okay. Don't worry. They're not going far. You people need to move along. That was literally Arthur's son, guys. All of you, we gotta keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. I don't wanna go next. Follow me. Keep it down. There's law everywhere. I don't wanna do this anymore. You people need to move along now. We've lost so many people. Ah! Oh my god. We got the law below. Watch out. Dutch, come on, man. Shit. Looks like they're heavily patrolling around here. Arthur. Arthur, we can get in here. I guess that's smart. Ugh. I don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? Oh, wow. We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. Where's Abigail? Jack? I mean, 
Look at us. John must have went to go save Abigail, and then he got arrested in the process. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. I hate this Dutch. I really do. Quick, hide behind the chair. I hear someone coming. How does he not see Dutch right there? Hey, I already checked the trains. You did? No more than a quarter hour ago. Are you sure? Sure. these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. Jenkins, is that you? See there? Sure. What you think? I don't know. They're watching for us. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, they ain't just waiting there for no reason. Yeah. Let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? What? I can't kill all of them silently. So, when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said? No. Oh, I like it. No I don't. Life. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most Come beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. Is it? Is it Dutch? Yeah, sure. I hope Charles doesn't die. Just like Dutch said earlier, it's either him or me, and I chose him. What now? Well, at least we got some gold, I'm sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, 
Lenny. Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence? And find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella. A New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. I don't know if Cuba's a good place to go, but all right then. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our families. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Wake up! Everybody! Wake up! Wake up! Come on, Arthur! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! What the heck's going wake on? Up, wake up! I don't know, but we are getting off of this boat. You come on! Uh, Ow! <laughs> Would you get a move on, you sleepy bastard? Hey, I'll be right behind you. <sighs> Jesus. <sighs> 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 I'm okay. You? Yeah. Oh. This ain't moving. Uh, yeah, you go on ahead. I'll try to find another way. Oh, God damn it! Whoa. There's no way, Arthur. What are you doing? What in the world? Did he just get washed ashore? So they're not making it to Cuba then, huh? Welcome to the new world. I got to collect myself before we even continue. Hold on a second. This is a lot. All right, let's finish this. What the heck's going on? I don't know how Arthur survived that. That is pure luck. I mean, it looks nice here.
Man, we lost so many people in this episode. That all happened so fast. Where the heck is this? What island? It could be a lot of different islands if it's. I mean, we could be in Cuba. We could be in Puerto Rico. We could be in. So many different places. Keep going. Hopefully there's actually people here, whatever island this is. Civilization. Man, he is sunburnt. And probably super dehydrated. Guarma? I know nothing about Guarma. What a random place to be. I thought we were going to Cuba. Whoa. Oh, wow. I need to. I can't save still. Look at my health, my stamina, my dead eye. What the heck am I going to do here? Look at this. Oh, we can check the map out. Oh, what a nice map. Oh, the smoke's over there. That means there's people here? Why else would there be smoke? Hopefully whoever the... Uh... Wait. Is that Dutch? Dutch? Oh my God. How did we all end up here? You're alive. Arthur? You're, you're alive. Arthur, okay. it is a miracle. It is. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. Y'all almost left me, left me behind. So. Oh, man. Where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guarma. Javier asked a local. It's a... Oh, there are people sugar here. ...sugar plantation island. Second island... East of Cuba. East of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. It's on the way? So. Yeah, sure. What next? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> well, next I guess we're going to get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No, I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. This isn't looking too good, guys. That means move. 
You got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. Of course. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. <laughs> and other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Right. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, disparales a todos. Welcome to Guama, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> what a welcoming. Yeah. What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, Ben. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Well, we're in Guarma, so enjoy that. This was this is literally a a place in the world that you never hear about. Ever. <laughs> Who are these people? Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Vuelvanse. I think we're criminals too. The graphics are really nice here though. Everything's so bright and colorful and vibrant. I can't believe Hosea died. I didn't think he was going to die. At least not this early in the game. I thought if he would die, he would die like towards the end. Whoa, what the heck's happening here? Guess we're getting out of here. Got him. Good work, Arthur. Uh, Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. Damn. Reinforcements. Oh, dear. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Femi. Everyone, follow me. Who's Big this Femi. guy? Come, come, come. Uh, 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 Javier. Uh, Javier. 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 Get out of here, there's a- No! We can't lose him too. We gotta move, Dutch! Don't lose face, son! We'll find you! Cooey, cooey! Go, go! Come on, Arthur! 
Arthur is burnt. I have some gun stashed here. Come. This is a nice gun right here. Where do you want me to go? This gun's kind of slow. We definitely did our thing. Come on, follow me. Quick. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill. And Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusar? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Equa Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle hoping to find a way back to their homes. That's terrible. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. But hey, I need something in it. I could argue with that. Help Leon with that group of escape workers and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well. Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise. Yay. So it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting. Carefully. Oh, a deer. We saw a deer earlier in the game. Apparently that means I have high honor, honor, apparently. So that's good. All right, let's see what we're doing here now. What's up, Micah? Still can't believe it. Hosea, Lenny. Hosea was dying anyway. Lenny. Mm, well. You know what they say about pride before a fall. That's all you gotta say. What? Whatever, bro. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, leave him to it, please. I don't need to hear that right now. 
Come on. Lenny was literally one of the best in our whole crew. Like, let's not talk ill of him, please. I'm taking some of that food. There's a gun over here. Hold on. A new gun? Wait, do I have my weapons? No. I was like, wait, what? Volcanic pistol? That might be better. There's also this double-barreled shotgun here. But I think I'd rather have a rifle than a shotgun. Like, if I had to choose between them, you know? I'm gonna take some of these cartridges, though. What else is there to take? Some revolver cartridges, also? Okay. We're looking good. So we have Dutch, or we can do a different mission. Oh my god, look at this. We're literally in a jungle. This is pretty cool. No horse. I can still whistle, though. Your horse is not on the island, yeah. I wonder who's taking care of my horse. <laughs> oh my god, was that a parrot? All right, well, let's stay on the path here. I feel like if we stray from it, we're going to die. I don't want to run too much because I'll lose stamina. Jesus! Oh my god. What the? Jeez. Oh, there's more? Dear Lord. That scared the absolute sh out of me. Oh my God. That was a jump scare. Like, are we in Guarma or are we in Vietnam right now? <laughs> like, what is this? What is really going on? All right, well, now I'm going to be a lot more aware of things. Now that that is a, a situation. Uh-oh, they're coming. I wanted dead or alive, so we just got to fight. They move quick, man. I'm just trying to loot them, though. Arthur looked aggressive. He looked mean right there. You saw that? Y'all got any ammo or anything? That's what I need. Chewing tobacco helps. At least we get the loot right here. Oh, there's more. I think we should just dip. We should go. They're just going to keep coming. They know we're here. The music is so cool. It reminds me of like a Jordan Peele movie. <laughs> hey. Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Back? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here and set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, Tahiti? Uh, get everybody together uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect That's it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. I mean... An insect bite you or something? Because you gone, friend. 
I don't know, man. We that doesn't sound like a good idea. What we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives. Okay. Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. What? Right. Thank you, Arthur. Gloria! Hi. It's the Saturday. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. A key. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Oh. What a great plan that was. Let's rob a bank with no actual plan of escape. Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis. Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So did you deal with those workers for Herr Cool yet? Not yet. I will. But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. Uh-oh. He's the best chance we have right now. Well, that means people here know us. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, oh, no. I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos. I you think it was John? Maybe. For somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. I know what he's saying. Quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again. The door is stopped. It can't be John. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. I get why he's thinking that, though. It is kind of fishy. Just lift it. Okay, then. Just a, just a bit more. This way. See, then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. Horribly, too. I'm just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. Are you gonna strangle me next? Right. 
You heard what he said back on that boat. I do not understand. Who are you? I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso ni fue para tanto. Si que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno. Ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. We're going to have to sneak around this way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We're starting to see that inner racism. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. That wasn't loud at all, but okay. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. You know what, Dutch? At this point, I really don't want to do what you tell me. <laughs> I'll keep it a fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Kind of against a lot of the, the things Dutch is doing right now. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me. Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Okay, then. Take the other side of this door. Como sabías, porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, shotgun shells. Right there. I mean, I know I don't have the shotgun, but... Oh, there's rifle cartridges, too. Still good to have. Anything else in here? No. I could try to loot him. See if he has any, uh... He's got chewing tobacco. That's good. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Well, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. You any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close those windows and the doors. Go on, quick. Okay, D Dutch is pretty smart for knowing that. This place will go. That's crazy what they're saying outside the Javier right now. We are nearly there. Alright, where are we going? I 
figure we can't be around here too long. Kindling. All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Not coming over here. We better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on, we can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Whoa. Now, let's go. Are we good, Dutch? Whoa, 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 whoa. Glad to see you. All right. Come on, son. Guys. You guys ready? Where are you guys going? The game's kind of cool. I'm, I know it's really linear, but I kind of like it. Thank you. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Follow me. I wasn't expecting to have like a linear section in this game. This way, stay with me. Okay. You okay there? I'm here. Shit. Where are these other guys at? Here they are. We got them. They're all dead. I think he's passed out, Dutch. On the left, take him out. Okay, let's move. Okay, we should be good. This way, we gotta move. I'm here. There'll be more on the way. Come on. Oh, there's a lot more on the way. Is that what you mean? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, kinda. I'm trying my best. I only have so much ammo. Good idea. Head down towards the river. Okay, we're doing great. Where am I? Where am I? They're doing a lot of cussing in Spanish over there. He's passed out. We're dead. Uh, he'll be fine. I'll get him out of here. You stay here. Take care of these fools a bit. No problem. Go quick. Wait, where did Dutch go? 
Doesn't matter. I gotta hold them off. My health looking good? Not really. Let's drink one of these. Now we're looking good. This guy's sneaking up on me over here. Might need to use the pistol real quick. Oh, shot his hat right off. All right, we should be able to get this guy. There's another one over here on the left. Got him. Woo! We did great. That was kind of stressful. I'm not going to lie. Like, they literally barely escaped that. Yeah, Micah, here we go again. Micah. Hey. How are you, Cope? Hanging in there. We'll be all right. Sure, Morgan. All right, let's use the shotgun for the next mission. We should also take some food. Oh, I can take both. I'm so used to games only ha uh, letting you have like one primary gun. Plus, it's so weird to see this like this. I can't even see my weapons. Alright, how do I get to this, this area it wants me to go for the next mission? Oh, it's pretty close by. Should be able to get there. It's somewhere in this area. Hopefully I don't fall down in one of those uh, traps again. That was kind of scary. I don't hear or see anyone. Uh, too steep. Oh, it's over here. about to fall asleep Arthur oh no Arthur's getting kidnapped again there's got to be some oh wait oh Oh. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm asking you. What are you doing here? 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 Come on. I'm an American. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. Leviticus Cornwall. Can't get my arms out. Oh, we need a rock. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. There it is. Grapple? Get him, Arthur. Let's go. You okay? I don't know. Oh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, he's missing uh, an arm. I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. Baptiste, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Go. Come. Follow me. I don't know how Arthur's going through all this, man. I could definitely not survive this. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. I do have food. Picatros. Don't murder the workers for sure. Who was that fella? Shh. One of Hercule's men. Hercule, like the character from Dragon Ball? Quick. Hide. Over there. Uh oh. Pedro es una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Okay. They moved. Come on. Keep close behind me. Why are you yelling, bro? They're right there. <laughs> Come on, stick tight. Another one. Hide quick. Where's he going? ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando, ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso, ¿ah? ¿eh? Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hacen. I know people hate stealth missions. Come on. I could see Guarma po possibly not being like a fan favorite area. Oh, what? Get them down from there. Shoot the rope. No one heard that? Okay, what are we doing next? Coming from behind us. Oh crap. Okay. Well, you're just gonna leave me here? Adelante, crap. Mátalo. Screen's so shaky. Dude just did, man. We survive this? There's there's a lot going on here. On the roof. Oh yeah. Shut up, bitch. 
Got me. There's one more. Crap. That looks like the last of them. Vengan, hermanos. Estarán bien. Este gringo valiente le salvó la vida. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptist. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Okay, well, we helped them out. Did he give me money? What the heck is money gonna help me? <laughs> What's that gonna help me do? All right, now, we did what you asked. It's like I said, Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come. Follow me. Uh-oh. Quick! So now we have a real problem. This must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn warship. You can't to hand it to this feller. So I guess great minds think alike. So what now? We fight or we won. Any of you boys feel like running? So what do we do? I will go get the cannon ready. Okay, let's get to it. <laughs> Pick it up, pick it up. The fellers on the beach. I see. There's more coming down the right side of the beach. I got it, I got it, I got it. Why the hell are we doing this? There's a lot of shaking going on from the cannons. Do you want to get off this island or not? He's you. Just shoot, my God. More coming down the left side, fellers. Is that all you got? You said you were getting up. What do you want to do? We are trapped up here. You don't know who you're dealing with. You see that one on the left at the back? Can't get that bastard. <laughs> we need to deal with them. We're closing in on I love snipers, man. I missed that one. a stressful situation but we just gotta keep our cool i'm gonna need your help my friend sure. closer. all right give me a second let me let me shoot one more i'm having a lot of fun okay never mind are you going to help hair cool damn this is heavy <laughs> That cannon is massive. Look at that thing. Damn. I don't think I've ever seen a cannon like that before. This don't look good, fellas. Uh-oh. Oh, damn it. I mean, we're fighting the military. Come on. That's a lot of men. Let's go down and clear them off the beach. Wait, wait. I'll come too. And me. We'll guard this thing. Uh-oh. We do have a rifle. Grab that shotgun out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that. Out there. So what do we do? I say we push forward, cause if we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. Oh, is it? I'm glad you're having fun, Dutch. Oh, I was right behind those crates. Not good. 
crap. I'm not liking this situation. There we go. Okay, now it's fun. Let's go. I'm pulling up. I'm telling you. A shotgun. Come on. Let's move down. Yes, we need to push them back. Oh, jeez. Jeez. This shit just hit their own men. Very kind of you, Mr. Fusha. They are both coming from both sides. What? What do we do now? I think I got a plan. All right. Over the right. Okay. And you take the left, hurt you. Okay. Oh my God, he's going nuts. <laughs> There's another bot coming in on the left. On the left? Okay, well, this is fun. Ah, I shot his hat. Got him. Okay, there's some over here. Look out! Another bot arriving on the right! Crap. Oh, it's shaking so much. Keep going. Got him. Just a few left now. Let's get down to the beach. This is not over yet. Holy crap, this is insane. I love it. Ah, you wait. I can't believe we're taking out like a whole military. Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna kill you so good. Got the guy rowing. Look out! Another boat just made land. Just one more. Oh, he's dead. What the heck? I think I killed him mid animation. <laughs> Dude, I headshotted him mid animation and he continued the animation and then died. <laughs> that was great. All right, wait, how do I get down without dying? Okay, I don't see a staircase or anything. How'd they get down? Oh, there it is. Damn, he's getting closer. What do we do? The two of us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold them off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Papale. You think that cannon will be enough? Only one way to find out. Christ's sake, how many men has Fusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill. He will have the money to get more. Right. Watch out! Whoa. You will have to climb up around the side. This way. With you, that one's going quite for dodge. Oh crap! Let's go. This guy is moving. Let me tell you. Up here, Arthur. I'll get you some more shot. Everybody what in I We need to put a serious hole in that boat. <sighs> okay, for the water line? Ooh, with that sun. That's kind of hard. Lance it! Keep firing! That one definitely here! Oh, uh, reload. That boat has to have some holes in it. Okay. Ugh. Keep at him. They can't take much more of this. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. They're going down. Nice. 
Let's get down from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And he should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready to set sail soon. Bill, come help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. Are we getting out of here or what? Oh wait, I'm moving here. <laughs> Arthur doesn't seem to be coughing as much. I feel like when we were in Saint Denis, he was coughing a lot. This was an experience that I wasn't expecting to have in this game. I thought I was dead for sure. Hi, boys. We got a real problem. Oh, Nicest God. Another one? Don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well. And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions. So when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This fella is really beginning to try my patience. He ain't even had you tortured yet. <laughs> I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. What? However. In this instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hey, cool. Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right, Bill. That was one of those moments where, like, in a Telltale game, it would be like, Dutch, is, will, Dutch will remember that. Like, we follow you. Hanale, this way. What did you say, sir? This is making Micah even more sus than he already is. Artillery post. They don't make Micah look good in this game at all. Like, you can't... Come on. There's no way you can like this guy. Like... <laughs> like, from st the start of the game to almost the finish. And I'm still not liking him. <laughs> he said one thing that was kind of interesting in camp recently. That made me think a little differently of him. But it wasn't enough to really change my opinion on him. Ooh, Clear. nice. Let's plant the explosives. You got it secured properly, cowpoke? I think so. Knowing you, I have my doubts. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> Come on, run! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what? What was that? They really hate each other, man. I'm telling you. Come on. There's another set of cannons up ahead. I'm with Arthur on that. Can you give me a sniper again? That was actually kind of fun. Come on. He's dead. One coming down the stairs. Let's go push up on them. Got up in the tower. Head up the stairs and get the rest of them. You know what's crazy? Most of the time that I'm playing this game, I'm blind as a bat. Like, look. <laughs> like, I can't see for real. I don't have my contacts or my glasses on, so. They'll be more coming. We'll hold them off. 
Up here, Arthur. We'll have a better view. Get up here, Arthur. I'm here. Ah! Okay. Come on. Let's pick them off before they get too close. Missed him. <laughs> the gameplay in this game is just. How are you it never ceases to amaze me. Nearly there. Okay, boys. We are live. Okay. Stand back. The captain's being held in the workers' compound. This way. Micah sure does know a lot, huh? Let's go! The captain. Oh, we do have the snipers still. Hold on. Okay, let's deal with these bastards first. I have fun with this for a little bit. Can't necessarily get his head, but. Got his chest. I got you now, you bastard. Levi. We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Uh-oh. Eventually, I'm sure we will. But not today. Oh. Not because of you. Oh. The US Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Oh, you are dying right oh. here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. That's true. Here. Get him. Yes. He dove out the window. Heck, he was quick, man. You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Uh, Captain Sam. Let's go. Gentlemen. <laughs> oh. All that crap talking Levi was doing earlier. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't in the beginning of the game, he thought he had us, huh? Or in the beginning of the uh, the segment chapter. You're dead now. Shit. I don't need it. Come on. Another one. Shoot him. <laughs> Just a random guy. He's Just dead. Get to that boat. We're actually out of here, guys. That's pretty cool. Look out on the left. This one on the off. Come on. Let's finish this corner. Oh, I'm gonna get Oh, what? Let's move. Whoa. Let's go. 
shot! Keep going! Hey! Fuso is up there! In the tower? Yes! Yes, that's him! This goddamn idiot! <laughs> He's shooting! We have to take him down! I can't aim at him. The way that the cannon is, I can't aim. There's another cannon out the head on our left. Can you get to that? I'll try. Possibly. Use the cannon out there. I'm trying to get over there first. Okay, let's take him out. <laughs> Jeez. I got it for you, Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. Are you going to be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's the true hero right there. We, we should be thanking him. Just about. What a winner. What now? What now? What do you mean, what now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. We slip ashore one by one, find out what's what. We don't cut and run now. Head back to Blackwater. No. This guy in Blackwater. No, no, no. Because the last Get over thing it. they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like, like our luck is turned. You know? And I ain't turning back. I had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some more money in our pockets. Of they course. Escape. Broke, alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. But carefully. See if they send any mail. Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. And then what? Then we meet up. We gather the family. We get some money and get the hell out of there. That's the plan. Sounds dumb. You're all acting crazy. And uh, that's not what I thought we were going to be doing here. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. I will kill for my family. Any of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. Anyone disagree? Anyone? I think Micah is trying to set us up because he keeps trying to tell us to go to Blackwater when we all know that Blackwater is not a good idea. There's Pinkertons there. Why would we go there? And that was his plan too. I think he's trying to set us up again. I hope Dutch doesn't fall for it and goes, yeah, we should go back to Blackwater and get our money back because I feel like it's aiming towards that. Like eventually they're just going to get to a point where they're like, well, that's the only place we know there might actually be money that we can escape, right? So we're going to end up going to Blackwater. Things are going to go south again. I don't know. New weapons are available and purchase and modify in shops. Where the heck am I? Can I look at the map? Oh, this is a section of the map I haven't even been to yet. There's a random horse here. I mean, we're back home though. Let's go. Take whatever they got. My horse, your horse is lost. <laughs> 
That's terrible. All right, well, I guess we'll just check around and see what we can get here. Post office is down the street. I should just take whoever's horse this is. Let's go. It's mine now. All right, well, I'll just get out of here then. Cinematic camera time. Oh. Look, there's a deer. <gasps> This song is beautiful. This song scares me because now I'm starting to think that something bad is going to happen. Back to camp. I'm 
That's a beautiful song. I love it. Easy. I didn't even want to talk through that. Like, I just wanted to hear the song, listen to it, and not talk through it. It was that good. Anybody here? Everyone's gone. This place is ransacked. Hello? Anyone here? Ooh, some moldy bread. Yay. You here? I'll try my best to keep that song in the video. I think it might get muted by YouTube though. I'm pretty sure like any, usually any tracks with vocals in it, it's an itch nay. Usually YouTube's like, nah, take it down. Hello? But I'll try my best. Maybe there's like a remix or like a different version of that song that I can like put there. We'll see. Shady, Pearson. No one's here. Send us back every day to search this place. Oh, Pinkerton's. Really isn't a gang of outlaws held up here. Look, those are fresh footprints. Uh oh. Looks like someone might be here right now. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around. Then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton. I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen. Oh, no. Be careful. Oh, here we go. Got to deal with these guys. Over here, fellas. I found one. All right, we got to get rid of these guys. Hold on. I thought I could do this kind of stealthy, but I don't think so. I'm on up those stairs. I got rid of those guys. Check this out. Dear, Dear Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Lacay, a small village just north of Saint Denis. It's buggy and muggy, <laughs> but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. Well, I think we figured that out. Darling niece Caroline. I guess I'm coming to see you in the cake. How far is that? Oh, it's right up here. Cool. This isn't my horse, man. This isn't my horse. I worked hard for that horse. Okay, girl. Aphrodite, what happened? Yep. And all my equipment too. It's all gone. The 
shots like this make me appreciate this game so much. There, girl. Hey, you're okay, girl. It's swampy out here. This is where that ghost lady was. It's pretty close to it. I don't like it out here. I don't like that. I found them. Is that Pearson? Abigail, Sadie. Arthur, Arthur's here. Oh my God. Oh, Arthur, oh, you're alive. Just about. Something sad. Come on, look it's raining. <laughs> hey, everybody, look who's here. How hey, y'all doing? Hey, old man, wake up. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. <laughs> we moved him to Sisica. He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Well, it's good that John's still alive. Oh, look, oh, there he <laughs> is. Yes, I got John. Okay, okay. Hey. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can can somebody give me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before what? the Puritans turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. yes. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me, I am going to get us out of here. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> we buried Hosea Dutch. Charles and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, here you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. In our absence, <laughs> Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of Corbin, uh -oh. Kerosene, and Tor. The United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to arrest you. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them. Oh, they got a Gatling gun. Actually, let them have it. Whoa. Asked everyone you could find, did you, Bill? Right. He pretty much led them here. Just stay down, Ollie. Look at Sadie. Let's go, Sadie. Oh no. What the heck is she doing? Where are we going? This way. There's a trap door into the other house. We can try to flank them. Okay. Girl, you got this all figured out. Let's go. This way, Arthur! Oh, come on there! Let us run to you! Okay, take the other side. You mistook it for Why weakness. You? Now I will show strength, and you may mistake it for brutality. There is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the ends of the earth and the end of time. This I killed your friends. This really start to irritate me. And you ah! Whoa. Let's go, Arthur. Someone killed him. We need to push him back. Okay, let's go. Bro, why did that give me um flashbacks of the end of Red Dead 1? Just for a second. Can we use the Gatling gun? Fast, faster. 
Oh, we sure can, sir. I just want to shoot it. I'm not really shooting anyone, though. We need to leave this area though. This isn't a good spot to be. Whoa, Sadie, okay. There's more of them. Get on that Gatling gun. Oh, now they want me to use it. Sweet. There's no way out The music here is insane. Crazy. Goodness. Now they're running. Oh, I can't shoot him. I want to shoot that guy. That was cool. That was a really cool mission. Arthur's not Sadie's sounding too good. Oh man, feeling Sadie. <coughs> you okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Now! Please, gentlemen. Sorry. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east. We don't have time. And we'll be in the ocean, so we're going to have to go north, I guess. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? John? He's in jail. Well, we'll get him. Abigail, just not, not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not going to come to that. Dutch! Not now, Miss. I... Not now. I'm begging you to. They're gonna hang him and break my... The boy's heart. Please, do something. We will. Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. All right, I guess we got to save John. My Lord, what a goddamn mess. Everything. It is. Not sure what happens next. Whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we gone through. All right, Arthur. Well, we're back to it. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, though. We went through so much in this video. Literally, we were in Gorma. We came back. The Pinkertons are on our tail. There's just a lot going on in this game, and I don't know how this is going to turn out. It doesn't look like it's going to turn out very well. I mean, you guys see our situation right now. The Pinkertons don't seem like they're going to stop. That's the government. How the heck do you destroy the government? You can't. You can't stop the government. <laughs> like, there's just, there's no way. Like, us going to an island was what we thought was the best idea, but people knew who we were there, so not really. I don't know, man. It's just, there's not really a good plan. And all plan, uh, the only plan that Dutch can think of is, oh, well, we need more money so we can figure it out like what is that going to do for us anyways this was a great episode very action-packed a lot of stuff went down 
the narrative is crazy in this game. The gameplay was fun. I liked Guarma. I feel like Guarma is probably one of those sections that is probably divisive for a lot of people just because the only reason why I say that is I don't know. I'm going to go look. I'm actually going to go on like the Reddit or whatever and see what people have to say about it. But um, I just know people hate stealth sections in games. That's why a lot of stealth video games don't do very well sales wise. So just going based off of that, I just know that Guarma probably isn't people's favorites because it's very linear. There's a lot of stealth and I don't know. I like it. I like stealth. I like the, the, the action packed section of Guarma. I mean, there's a lot going on. You're fighting. I mean, it is kind of annoying to have to follow somebody and like run around and do this and do that. But I felt like that section was amazing. But that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know how you're. How you feel about this episode? Give me any tips and advice down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hope will never die. Orale.